testing your celebrity knowledge with a nepotism baby's guessing game. I could do this. Oh, Ooh. so we're testing who they might be related to? She's gonna do great out of this step. Oh, I, I know, know I'm anything. starting to feel pretty I good about anything. this. Raven Simone, Maya Hawk, and Michael Sarah. E Z. Sure, you wrote down your answer immediately. Oh, I know, I know. I already know this answer, and I also oh, know, I know who the parent is. Oh, I'm already accepting the L at this point. I genuinely have no idea. Do you know? Yeah. Oh. B. It okay. is Maya Hawk, and her dad is Ethan Hawk, and her mom's Uma Thurman. <laughs> Ethan Hawk and Uma Thurman. She really looks like a good mix of her parents. Yeah. She has all of, I think, the good parts of her parents. Yeah, for real. I normally don't know the stars that you guys. Right, because we just are different generations. But now, these are my generation actors. It was one of those things when she got on Stranger Things, it was like, nobody knew initially until people started like looking into her and they were like, holy, look at who her parents are. All right, Zoe Dutch, Ariana Grande, and Lil Nas X. Again, I'm gonna follow my gut and go with what I don't know. Oh, no. I put Zoe Dutch. Same. Yeah. <laughs> Ariana Grande? Oh my God, it's Zoe Dutch, huh? I don't even know who the f that is. Oh, Leah Thompson, fascinating, I didn't know that. It's hard when they don't take their last name, too. Okay, I know Leah Thompson. To Back the to the future, yeah, girl. Yeah. Mm, I didn't know that. What benefits are granted from a famous parent? Oh, endless. Uh, just access. Really. Yeah. Just opening that first door. Bro, real talk. Yeah. yeah, if I had a parent that was in the industry, shit. DJ Khaled was my dad. I'd be going in a place like, Steve, you can't go there. God did. Like, yeah. I'm going in, man. I'm telling you. Dan Levy, Elliot Page, and Bruno Mars. I know. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you. She's going to completely, absolutely destroy me in this. I know this one. I think I do as well. I think it's A. A, a Eugene, Eugene Levy. It's Levy, huh? <laughs> Because I just finished watching Shit's Creek and I know his dad is. Oh my god, is that him? No! One of the best shows ever. They are a dynamic duo. It's weird because I feel like when I watch him, he himself is really good, so I feel like he's got the talent already. I feel like he would have been successful regardless. I feel like it's a little more unique when they do it, like when they create it together. So, yes, maybe it is a nepotism baby, but that's also going like the extra mile in terms of work. Aquafina, Seth Rogen, Kate Hudson. I actually don't know this one. Yeah, this is a hard one for me too. Um, I know all of them. I yeah, didn't know I've one of them. Heard any one of these people be referred being to an nepotism. as nepotism. But Kate Hudson. You do. Yeah. Kate Hudson. Do we know who her mom is after we see the picture here? Do you have a young picture of her? <laughs> It's Goldie Hawn, right? Yes! Yeah, her damn. mom is Goldie Hawn! Her mom is Goldie Hawn? I always had a crush on Goldie Hawn. And now that Kate Hudson is older, now I'm like, oh, I like <laughs> Tracy Ellis Ross, Donald Glover, and Jungkook. I know who all of these people are. I only know Donald Glover. We know this one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, easy. This is a guess on my part. I'm completely guessing. I put A. Oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> and then too. I put Rick Ross for the dead. Oh. A comfortable guess. Her mother is the ultra famous Diana Ross. Oh. What? Oh. Diana's gorgeous and talented, and I think uh, Ellie is just as gorgeous and talented as a mom. Oh. I had no idea. I think because Diana Ross is known as like a singer, so I didn't think that the daughter would be acting. I thought she would be a singer. Well, they're both creative, and so I think it's just what you find your passion in. She's probably talented in so many different areas, and acting's just what she likes to do. Caleb McLaughlin, Anna Ferris, Billy Lord. I don't know who Caleb McLaughlin is. The only McLaughlin I know is George Todd McLaughlin. I like Caleb. I hope he's not an nepotism. <laughs> I cannot think of the name. Wait, no, stop, stop! Oh my gosh, I was... Oh. <gasps> she is, she like, it clicked. See and Carrie Fisher. Yeah, That's I couldn't remember her name. Carrie Fisher. Mm -hmm. Did not know that. Huh? I just know it's like a fam family of like old Hollywood royalty and whatever. For no points, who is Carrie Fisher's mom? Um, Debbie Reynolds. I feel like these women are so impactful in their own mm. generations. Damn, so Billy Lord, pick that famous person and make another nepotism baby. Right? 
Charlie Day, Dakota Johnson, and Trevor Noah. I actually know this one. How does she know this so fast? <laughs> Trevor Noah, I know how he came up through stand-up comedy and stuff. He doesn't give me nepotism vibes. No, he. I yeah, feel he like doesn't have Trevor Noah would totally like he, rock like, that shit he if he did. He his parents on his show. Thank you for giving me that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's Dakota Johnson. Her dad's Don Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> Time to shine, baby! <laughs> On the left, you see Melanie Griffith. There you go. On the right, you have Don Johnson. I remember when they were married. And so they had a baby, Dakota. I mean, you know? <laughs> I think her biggest thing was probably Fifty Shades. Why do you think that is? Do you think that has anything to do? It probably has to do just so much money that like you're just acting for the sake of acting. Which is cool. Mm -hmm. You know, she likes to do it. Louisa Johnson, Grace Gummer, and Mamie Gummer? Joe Jonas, Nick Jonas, Kevin Jonas. Chris Hemsworth, Liam Hemsworth, and Luke Hemsworth. I don't know. Ooh, we finally stumped the old Daniel here. I, know. <laughs> I don't even know who the Gummers are. Yeah, I don't know who any I, of those people I, this, are. It's a, it's, it's a guess-ish. Yeah, this one, this is hard. All right, we guessed the same thing. The Jonas Brothers. Oh my god, I'm, me too. A, I don't know them, so. Okay. Oh. <gasps> Shot your mouth. Meryl Streep? I'm sorry, what? She's just very, very I... upset right now. Meryl Streep Meryl... has three kids that have found themselves acting for film and television. Which of these three are you familiar with? None. None of them. I don't know any of them. All I see is four Meryl Streeps. <laughs> I recognize the one on the left. None of her kids are as famous as her. Well, it's hard what do we to think about that? beat the number of Oscar nominations that she has. It's a pretty tall order. If I were them, I would not want people to know she was my mom because those are big shoes to fill. Very, <laughs> I very, mean, very large shoes to fill. Yeah. Miranda Cosgrove, Leighton Meester, and O'Shea Jackson Jr. I know this one. I think I know it. Really? I don't know the dad. Is today a good day? Or O'Shea. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know why I'm taking the time to think about this because I don't know any of these. C. <laughs> it's O'Shea Jackson Jr. because his dad's Ice Cube. Damn. You both got it. Oh, did oh. we? <laughs> oh, it's Ice Cube! <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to help you out. She and Jackson, I was like, why does this sound so familiar? Duh! Duh! But she Jackson Jr. looks so much like his father that he actually got a chance to play him. Mm -hmm. Do you think looking very similar to an already famous relative is more of a benefit or hindrance? Hindrance. How often are you going to redo the life of your parent? You kind of want to step out on your own, but then everybody's right. just going to... They right. see you already as your parent. I think looking like his dad is gonna benefit him because Ice Cube at the time was very edgy and had that like hard-nosed look, which I think a lot of those guys translate translated into film. I feel like fans of Ice Cube are now gonna be fans of his just because they're passing the baton down. Emma Stone, Selena Gomez, Angela Jolie. Oh, wow. I know this one though. Yeah. I know exactly who the parent is, and oh my god. I just cannot remember the name of her dad. Angelina. He's from Holes. He's the, he like spits out the seeds in Holes. Her dad was in Holes. I just don't remember his freaking name. I just guessed Lady Gomez. Angelina Jolie in John Voight. John I wouldn't have got that. John Voight! That's her dad? When you first heard this, did this surprise you? Yes. Yes. They don't look alike either. No, but I'm happy she is because she's beautiful looking. Also, her talent was going to surpass her connection, family connection anyway, so. Nora Jones, Sarah Jessica Parker, and Justin Bieber. I know all these people. However, I know very little about them. I know a lot about Justin Bieber from when I was like 12 years old. It is, um... Oh my God, I can see him! I want to sing the song though. Don't know why. That didn't come. <laughs> I put Justin Bieber, but my other guess was Nora Jones. <gasps> no way, it's Nora Jones. I know it's not Justin Bieber. I just guessed Sarah Jessica Parker. Nora Jones' father, Ravi Shantar, reached a great level of fame in India as a sitarist, even being dubbed the world's best known export of North Indian classical music. I did not know that. When you're a creative, you're just gonna go with what your heart feels, right? And that's cool that she could bring that like international influence here, mm -hmm. you know? Your inspiration is your parents, right? And you could take that and listen to what you're listening to as a kid and the cultural 
perspective that you get when you're a kid and then mix it together, boom, Nora Jones. <laughs> Kelly Clarkson, Mindy Kaling, Jack Wade. Oh! I actually know this one and I know both of them. Of course you do. <laughs> I feel like I know this, but I just don't remember the parents' name. Well, I know one is not. I actually, imagine her dad was like Simon Cow. <laughs> but C, it's Jack Quaid. Both of us are hitting Jack Quaid. You went for the extra point with Richard Quaid. That is incorrect. Yes! You got it. Meg Ryan and Dennis Quaid. <sighs> Dennis Quaid! Dennis! I know it! I remember looking up Jack Quaid because of the boys and Scream. Right. And then I do remember seeing that his parents were famous, mm -hmm. but I forgot who his parents were. I was surprised it took him as long as it did for most like nepotism babies to get as famous as he is now. Paul Rudd, Nas, and Eric Andre. I don't even know who Nas is. Who is Eric Andre? I feel like I don't know until I see a picture. Who's Paul Rudd? Shut up. <laughs> Stop it. Paul Rudd, do you really not know? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> but Nas? The answer is not. <laughs> that is Nas, and that is his father, who is actually a famous musician himself. So while Nas excelled in hip hop, his father was a jazz artist. Mm. The appreciation for music, and then obviously the connections help. And the connections are a big part of that. Yeah. yeah. If your parents are a musician, and like you decide you want to be a musician, like it's it's a really good starting ground. I would imagine that probably trickled down, which is why Nas is king of hip hop. Oh wow, that's a big title to put. I mean, put somebody else up on the mail. He's gonna recognize talent in his son. He's already got the recording equipment. He already has the stuff to bring the playing field up a little bit more than he had. Why do you think there's such a curiosity around the outside influences that might have helped somebody acquire fame? It's easy to pick on. Seeing these people that are born into it, there's kind of like a, Damn, like, my parents don't do that, you know? Because if you're in the industry, it makes you feel a little better that you knew some of the people that made it were just, they made it because of nepotism. And, you know, it doesn't discredit your talent, it's just a little harder. Talent, unfortunately, is not everything. Sometimes it is about the connections of the networks, and who you don't, which, get out there and get those networks. Yeah, people are gonna hate on you and be like, oh, like you only got to where you are because of your parents. Like, mm -hmm. without them, you'd be nothing. But at the same time, people are still not gonna book them right. if they're terrible. Are you gonna get some doors open for you? Yes, but then you've gotta carry the ball the rest of the way. Thanks for watching this episode. Were any of these nepotism babies a surprise to you? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss an episode. Bye, guys. Bye. Oh, right, so right, what, right. What right. is Ice Cube's name? O'Shea Jackson. Jackson. Is it O'Shea Jackson? Yeah, that's that's why he's a junior. He just goes by Ice Cube. Oh, he just goes. Yeah, yeah that's because I was like, I never knew his. His first name is Ice. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. <laughs>